Good morning, Hero Wars fans. As I predicted, it looks like there will be quite a few heroes that can be tied to the new Biscuit Pet. There are a total of 27 heroes that can be tied to Biscuit. And not one of them was Jorgen, whom I was eagerly awaiting. Oh, I'm so disappointed, if I could have linked the Biscuit to the Jorgen, it would have given me a lot of power-ups, but what the heck. It looks like Biscuit will be able to be tied to mostly tank heroes and magic heroes. It remains to be seen how strong Biscuit will be in a combat setting, but I think Biscuit's value as a power-up item is quite high. Let's talk about raising pets. Since March of this year, there has been a new pet-based event called the Great Storm. Considering the fact that there were almost no pet events until last year, I think it was a given that new pets would be introduced. The reason for this is that when the number of pets increases from 7 to 8, it becomes much more difficult to train them. Chaos Particle and Pet Soul Stone are in short supply as food for pets. If the number of pets to be raised increases, then the amount of food needed will also increase and I think the management has increased the number of pet-related events in anticipation of this. When Axel was introduced in September last year, he was not included in the pet summoning eggs for the first two months. In the case of Biscuit, we expect that it will be around October before Biscuit is included in the pet summoning eggs. Of course, Biscuit won't be included in the advance prize pet soul chests until around October. And after Biscuit's appearance, the odds of you getting the pet soul stone you want from the pet summoning egg will be 1 8th. Assuming you have 7 pets with 5 stars, you will need 2000 by 7 pets equals 14000 pet soul stones to raise them to absolute star. If you add Biscuit, who has 5 stars, you will need a total of 16000 pet soul stones. That's too much for a low budget guy like me to handle. If this happens, the only way to get a pet to become an absolute star is to draw the grand prize and use luck alone. I don't think the odds of winning the grand prize will get any better as the number of pets increases, so with a low budget, it may take as long as 3 years to get an absolute star for my pet. 3 years, seriously, that's the dark side of Russian games, well, you can definitely get it if you play long enough without paying, so I guess you could call it conscientious. Looking back, I think I was very lucky because I was able to get the absolute star Fenris pretty early on, 120 days after I started playing. I still remember that day very well. I was participating in a pet adventure, and my guildmate Akira got stuck in the middle of the adventure map. Maybe he's trying to power up his hero? So I temporarily left the adventure map, and when I returned to the main screen, I received one of the pet summon eggs from the daily quest. When I opened that one summoned egg, I drew the grand prize of a pet Fenris. Lucky. This is the story of my fateful encounter with Fenris, but if I hadn't won the grand prize at that moment, my suspicions about this game would have grown enormously. Now, it's time for the video to end. If you're lucky enough to have Biscuit as your fifth pet on your main team, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.